live life. Nothing I do. If I get a Grammy, an Oscar, I must think about my little brother, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. This, this touched me. Had me emotional. Oh, hell no. I feel you, G Herbo. Real talk. Had me emotional, man. For real. Nigga kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his life. And you know, you know, I always just think like, I just can't believe it. You know, like, I just can't believe, like, you know, he always, he always on my mind every day. That's yeah, I already know, broski. I can't, I can't go a day without thinking about him. The closest person, like, that I ever lost in life, like, oh, you know what I mean? And it be, it be killing me because I never got to say goodbye to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I always just say like. I always just thought like one day I'm gonna bump into this guy. You know that, nigga. We used to be talking about you, saying like, "Folk, we gotta go get with Santi gang." Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for where folks at? We was trying to hunt you down, broski. I ain't gonna lie, me and little bro was trying to. Hey, her Santi gang. Damn, boy. Hey, little what bro. Up, we used to be trying to hunt you down, though, little bro. I ain't gonna lie. So. Oh well, we used to be looking for you. I ain't even gonna me and folks just be talking about you. Oh, for real, man. Oh, hell. I'm glad I called him, man. Yeah, man. Santi, hey, man. You got my herb in his feelings over here, man. He missing you, bro. Oh, I had to call you up, bro. I know. That's all. I'm telling you, I know it's him, Big Rick. I know it. I swear to God. I'm telling you, your son. He like always looked like this little passionate ass. Yeah. 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 So he just, he, he be with me. I can't stop thinking about him. The only person I ever lost was my blood cousin. Folks, he, ain't he, bad for Besides him, I ain't never lost nobody that, that's this close to me in spirit. And this boy be with me every fucking day. <laughs> and I know he loved me because he came to me twice in my dreams. It wasn't until a year later, tied to that situation, he came to me twice. And it fucking killed me. Nah, folks, look at what you don't care. I ain't going back. Yeah. I don't know what Shorty really meant to me. No, for we was trying to hunt you down, gang. Your oh, ass a goofy, you disappeared. <laughs> Santi, man. <laughs> man, oh, dog, you don't need to call you, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Stay out the way, little bro. How you doing, man? Man, I'm, I'm doing a lot of Man, this shit goofy you know, for a while. I hate crime, for. You know, I, I just been trying to just get back to the grind, man. Just trying to get back to the grind. Like, like I said, I ain't never lost yeah, when life come, man, it come hard, that don't shit, it, man? Though, bro, you just gotta lean towards it and just know that shit for you. You see what I'm saying? Like even the tough shit, just like you gonna embrace a win, you gotta embrace the losses, bro, and just learn from them bitches and see what it what it meant to you. You see what I'm saying? Like that's what life man, about, bro. Kids, man, y'all got so many damn babies. <laughs> 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 when you gonna have some kids, man? When you go, when you gonna make me your granddaddy again, man? Huh? When you gonna have some kids? Man, I don't know, man. I don't know what the problem is. Hey, man. Hey, Asante, boy, get the fucking boy right now, man. Figure <laughs> that shit out. You know we been man, talking about that anyway, man, bro. You all, you all out here. You all in the late bloom a little bit, bro. Come on, man. Catch up, monster. <laughs> Uh, you keep it at honey too. <laughs> I thought he was back there crying, chilling. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, though. I'm trying to tell you, man. So I've been just trying Yeah, you just made me cry, though, gang. I don't even, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm finna get on the phone with a nigga and start crying, gang? Yeah. Like, be for real. Come on, man. You, you, hey, look, I ain't even gonna lie. It could be 10 years, 20 years from now. I'll still, I'll still my people. Nah, you know that. I'll come around y'all and be my damn self. I don't, and, and you got like, to, folks. You ain't never been that gay. I know ain't nothing changed about you, bro. I know ain't nothing changed about you, Asante gang. Cause if you wanted to hang around some niggas, shit, you would be around us. <laughs> it's that simple. You see what I'm saying? Nah, for real though. Damn. Nah. It I just, and then I just tell myself, like, I, I can't even 
mean come back over east because it ain't gonna never be the same. You know that little bro and stay you gang, stay you, you know mentally where you at, bro. So it's like if you gotta stay there to be happy and be at peace, bro, stay there, gang, cause that's your peace. And you deserve your own peace. You see what I'm saying? You know that though. Damn. Y'all mad me, y'all was fourteen years old, man. Damn. Oh, cap. <laughs> oh, what else, bro? You made me cry, bro. I ain't gonna lie, gang. That's our man, Asante. Damn. I'm just glad to talk to you, folks. You know I know that. That's why I'm telling you. You probably need to stay your ass out there where you at, little bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Kamar Reese. Yes, I had sir. a lot of father figures. I had Mick. I met them when I was 16 years old. Yes, sir. I had a lot of people that if you was telling me something that I felt like I needed to listen to, I was going to listen. So it's like that just shaped me into who I am. Man, you heard all them positive black men names you just shout out, bro? Yeah, that off the top man, of my we head. Out here, man. For I real. appreciate that, man. Hey, so let me ask you a question. So <clears throat> how do you feel about your father making a harsh decision because you was no longer living? Or let me ask you, what made you no longer live in your mom and dad house and move to Nani house? Like, did, how did, did you see your dad in... Yeah. They ain't understand it at first, you know, because I was young. I made that decision and I was like 14 years old. A real decision that my parents respected and they let me live with at 14 because I made it from a logical decision. My environment caused me to move from my mama house. I had static with people that lived around my mom and my grandma. And I just didn't want to put myself in danger or my family in danger. So I said, this is the next best route. This is the next best safe environment where I'm going to have a home like I live with y'all. Yeah. And they came and they saw that I had a home, and it was all it been that from since then. But it's not like they didn't already know who Greg and I didn't was. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it was just a decision. Was it, it, it ain't even like I sat them down and said, "Yeah, I got to move there." I just it's went happening. to Nani House and never left. It's over there. And then they like, "Why are you there so long? What yeah. you, you ain't never coming you know, back." Nani gonna show that. I now. ain't just come right here. Up, she has protected the whole community. Yes. Without a Nani, it would have been so many people dead in jail and all types of shit. Nani is an unpaid foster home. Man. In real life. Man. In real life. She did that. Yes, she yes, did sir. that, but she yes, didn't sir. have to get paid with money because she got paid with love. She would not change nothing about nothing she did. We talk about it all the time. Like that, because it's like, I told you I always dictated his life a little bit, though, Pops. I'm telling this nigga, and I ain't ever even want to speak on this on the podcast. I'm telling him, stop going to that fucking barbershop. Stop going in there. Don't get your hair cut there. You Greg. What you got to get your hair cut there for, gang? Make a nigga come to you. Fuck this nigga. And no disrespect to the barber, but fuck him. If he fuck with you, make this nigga come cut your hair. I'm telling him this countless, 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 countless times. Don't take Mari there to get their hair. Don't take nobody that we don't do that, gang. What the fuck we got to sit in the barbershop for? I don't think that Greg felt like somebody would want to hurt him like that. And exactly, because he a pure person. He didn't do shit like yeah, that. Yeah, but so I like, knew he was on point day, and shit nah, like that. Nah, it's but. being on point. It still feel like a nigga want to hurt you. And still mm -hmm. knowing that a nigga will hurt you. That a nigga will hurt you. But he just such a good person. He know ain't no nigga. He, he, I don't it, think he real. like like. He ain't yeah, thinking like that. On a barbershop, I don't, I don't think. think I don't know. Like the like, details or whatever like, happened. Like, I don't know. But I'm just saying like, it didn't make sense to me. Like even fuck that. Fuck it happening. You see what I'm saying? That they changed my life. I'm talking about even prior. I gotta live with that because I'm steady telling him stop. What you doing? Like I don't even want my little brother. This my little brother again. He probably not thinking like that because he a regular nigga. When yeah. you a regular nigga, you a street nigga. You moving and grooving. Yeah. I'm him, and you is me. You is a part of me. Point yeah. blank. Period. So yeah. that's why I'm carrying him that way. Yeah. But he yeah. just not listening to me. I kept telling him this, so that's why I feel like I'm responsible because I feel like I should have just said any. I don't know what I feel like, gang. And I know I'm not responsible. I know Thank I can sleep at night that. comfortably. Thank you for saying that. I know okay. I'm not responsible. I know I'm not responsible That's for all my I was brother really hoping, bro. I'm able That's to sleep at night comfortably hoping, and know that it's not my fault. <laughs> but I'm going to still feel like it's my fault because I can't live life. Nothing I do. If I get a Grammy, an Oscar, I'm going to think about my little brother, gang. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? My life can't be complete without him. I ain't going to lie to you. It don't feel complete. It's never going to feel complete without him. That's the truth. <laughs> 
I ain't gonna never be able to feel complete without him, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, Bob. That shit just don't make sense to me. It don't add up. And I've been through a lot of shit. Way too much shit. It still ain't making sense to me. Why he not here? 